So what I would like to do now is go to the whiteboard and sort of draw out a little bit of what we're trying to accomplish here. So as you can see, I've already drawn our management environment, the root management server. It's got two management servers, and these are our various different agents, which remember the agents are primarily servers. Uh, but what we want to do now is we want to enable agentless exception manage management. So we're not talking about all of these servers. We're talking about all of these desktops and laptops and all those client computers, or what we might refer to as client monitoring. Uh, and we want to turn this on for those systems. So what I'm going to do is I need to configure those systems, but first I need to install my agentless exception monitoring. Now I could add it to any one of the existing management servers or I may want to dedicate a management server for this. So yes, it is a management server and yes, it has a connection into the RMS like all the others, but it is also going to install the AEM components. We're going to configure it for uh, agentless exception monitoring, right? So we need, to, we need to do that, which we'll do in a moment. Once it's configured, we then need to configure the Active Directory. The Active Directory is going to utilize group policies to push down settings to each of these machines uh, that tell those machines what to do with exceptions, right? Including the Customer Experience Improvement Program settings, uh, the, uh, anytime there's a, a crash or a failure, what do they do with it? Well, normally a Windows machine is configured to prompt the user and then send the stuff to Microsoft. We don't want to do that anymore, so using Active Directory Group Policies, we're now pushing down a change to the desktops and laptops so that they are now configured to send the information directly to each uh, uh, to the AEM server. So each one of these, after they get the policy, will send their information there. Now that's if they have an exception, if something crashes, right? They're going to gather up that information. Part of the policy that we define in the Active Directory is to uh, define what sort of events we want to know about, right? And whether we want to prompt the user or not. In most cases, if we're going to go through the trouble of setting this up, we're probably going to capture it no matter what. We don't want to give the user a choice. Users have gotten used to hitting cancel, which means they're not going to send the information. And you may want that information stored right here on this management server. So we capture it in most cases, automatically. Then we decide whether we're going to take it to the next step and send it on out to Microsoft. Right? So the management server itself would bundle all that stuff together and send it to Microsoft. Don't have to do that, as we'll see in a moment as we get into the configuration. That's an option. Uh, but the point is we have control over it now, as opposed to the clients all connecting directly on out to, uh, to Microsoft. 